Others Learning Center. Today we're gonna learn our writing unit 11. If we go into our lesson, let us first have our prayer. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Lord Jesus, we come to you. Help us and guide us in our studies. Bless our parents, our guardians, and children. This we ask in your mighty name, and everybody say, Amen. Nice to see you today. It's been a long time and a long vacation. And today we're going to resume our lesson and let me have a song for you. My body lies over the ocean. My body lies over the sea. My body lies over the ocean. Oh, bring back my bunny to me. Bring back, bring back. Oh, bring back my bunny to me, to me. Bring back, oh, bring back. Oh, bring back my bunny to me. Now we're going to have our recap. We color the objects of O and P. We studied small O and capital O. And then we finish writing our capital O and small O as well as capital P and small P on the board. So those are our lessons in the past. Our main lesson for today, we are going to color object that starts with Q and R. And then we're going to have exercises of letters Q and R. We're going to write capital Q and small Q on the board, as well as writing capital R and small R on the board too. Now class, let's go and color letter Q on the board. It's a picture of a quail that starts with letter Q. Come on, let's color it now. I'm going to color the quail with brown. So you can use any color if you wish when you are going to color your quail. I'll start at the bottom. Now I'm coloring now the wings. No, I am on the head. Quail is a small bird. Now I'm on the claw or the feet of the bird. Oh, and finish coloring now the quail. <laughs> now we have our new lesson for today. It's a first lesson. Let us write the name of the picture on the blanks. First, the picture of a queen. We're going to write queen on the blank. Q U E E N. Queen. So we go now to the next picture. This is the picture of the quail. We're going to write the word quail on the blank. Q U A I L. Quail. Now the next picture is a quilt. We're going to write 
the name of the picture, which is a quilt. Q-U-I-L-T. Quilt. So let's finish our writing of the name of the picture. Hi again class. Our next lesson will be the names of person that starts with letter Q. We have here Quentin, Kiel, or Quill, Quincy, Quinny. We say it once more. Quentin, Quill, Quincy, and Quinny. And now we go to the words that start with the letter Q. First we have the Queen. And now we have the question mark. And then we have quadruplet. Quadruplet is four. And then we have quill. It is used for writing in the olden days. So we finish our words. It starts with start with letter Q. Yay! It's time for us to write. Capital Q and small Q on the word now class. Capital Q it might it can be a circle or an oval with a little point here or a little slant at the bottom. And the little Q or small Q is an inverted P. If you look at it, it is what a curve and a line. If you wish to put a little point here, it can be. So this is capital Q and small Q. So we're going to write it on the board now. It is here, a circle is here. And then make a little slant here. Capital Q. Make a circle, or it can be an oval if you wish, and a small line here at the bottom. Now go around and then make a little slant here down. Now let's go now to another capital Q with a little slant at the bottom. Let's go again here with our capital Q with a little slant at the bottom. Make a circle with a little slant here at the bottom. Here, go around with your circle, a little slant at the bottom. Now, let's go and make a circle with your capital Q and small slant at the bottom. So, we finished our capital Q. Now let's go and write our small q. Small q again is a little circle. Go down again and make your little bit slant. Make a circle, go down and small slant on it. Make a circle and then go down and make your slant. Make a little circle again and then go down and make your slant. Make a little circle, go down and slant. You're having your small Q. Make a little circle, go down and make a slant. There you go. We finished our little Q on the board. Now we go to our letter R. For our letter R, we're going to color the rooster. I am going to use three colors for the rooster. Okay, let's go and color the rooster on the board. I'll start with the red here. Kind of red orange or 
pink, red, pink, and then here again. I'll go with the brown here in the body. You can use different colors if you wish to. Colors that you have in your house. I'll mix it up with yellow, brown with yellow, so I finished coloring the rooster and it starts with letter R. Here we go again, class. Let's go now to capital R and small r. Now we're going to read the sentence. Ruddy the rabbit sits on the rock looking at the rainbow while the rain drizzles. What are the words that start with capital R? And small r and then we're gonna write it on the blank let's find it out first the word is ruddy the name of the rabbit write down ruddy on the blank capital r o d d y again let's find out another word that start with r rabbit we're going to write rabbit on the blank. R-A-B-B-I-T. Oh, next, we're going to find the word that starts with R. We have rock. We're going to write rock on the blank. R-O-C-K. Rock. Oh, next, we're going to find another word that starts with R. Rainbow. We spell out rainbow. R A I N D O W. Rainbow. Another word, the last word. Oh, we found out there is another word. It is the rain. Spell out rain. R A I N. Wow, it's so awesome to read the sentence and writing the words on the blank. Our next lesson again, class. Let's learn the names of persons that start with R, capital R. And then we can underline the letter or capital R. Now, the first name is Richard. The next name is, of course, Randy. Then the next is Ramon. Those are the names of the boys. Now, let's go to the names of the girls. What name can you remember? Oh, I have here one word, one name, Rita. And then we have Rhoda. And the last one is Raya. So, those are the names of persons that start with capital R. Let's go to capital R and small r. In capital R, each a line and then a curve slant going down. The small r is also a line and go up again with a little curve. So this is capital R and small r. We're going to write these letters on the board. Start with the line above 
going down and then make a curve again make a slant going down start from the top you make a line make a curve and then make a slant from the top go down and make a curve and then again make a slant we have to make a line and then a curve and then a slant capital r starts from the top make a curve and then go down with a slant line a curve and then a slant line a curve and then a slant make a line again a curve and then a slant now we are on the small r we finish our capital r we go now to our small r make a very small line here and then go up and then little curve now we have a small line and then make a little curve or a slant make a line go up again and make a curve small line and go up and then you have your curve make a line and then you have your curve make a line and then a curve make a small line go up again with a little curve make a small line and then your little curve so we finished our small r that is our writing for today <laughs> This has been our writing, Unit 11. So we'll finish our letters, Q and R. Say next time for another session of writing, Unit 13. This is Teacher Ada saying goodbye. See you soon.